Welcome back to Chatter on the Wire. Uh, this is the second video on our Atomic Pi power. Uh, in the last few days, a new power supply showed up. We're going to see if the voltage on this one is any better than the other one. Just as a reminder, the other power supply was at 5.3 volts. As you can see, this one's actually even higher at 5.43, which is a little disappointing, um, but this is a power supply that quite a few other people who had bought the Atomic Pi off of Amazon had used, so we're going to go ahead and assume that we're good to go uh, potentially on this, but before we do anything else, we're going to try out this liquid electric tape and cover up some of these connections so to make sure we don't either shock ourselves or short something out. I've never used this stuff before, um, and at this point I've actually shaken it up, stirred it quite a bit, um, but it is still quite runny and quite a bit stringy uh, compared to what I thought it would be like. And as you'll see here, I make a bit of a mess with it. Um, I, after this initial coat was dried on, I did put, I believe, two more coats on because as liquidy as it was, it um, didn't look like it was very thick and I wanted to make sure that I didn't accidentally scrape this off later and short something out. So. Um, you can see there making a bit of a mess. Even as I pull it off of here, it's leaked straight through those connections and um, put some of the liquid tape onto the breadboard there. Um, due to the power supply mishap, for lack of a better term, uh, one of the other things I planned for was to use a DC to DC buck converter to potentially drop the voltage down from 5.3 or 5.4 volts now to a safer 5 volt. Um, the idea here was to use these connectors. As you can see, the positive was uh, opposite on those, but this was a picture here of what a, the ultimate goal was on this. After soldering the first one up and doing some tests here uh, with the 5.3 um, volt um, power adapter that I originally got, I adjusted this d uh, down, or actually at this point I was trying to adjust it up. When I plugged this in, I was getting 4.78 volts out on the back end, which may have been enough voltage on that, but I wasn't sure if I was going to get a sag. So I decided to go ahead and try a 12 volt uh, power supply and I was going to drop it down to 5 volts. I've done this in the past with another project with no is issues, but on this one I wasn't able to actually get uh, the buck converter to start dropping the voltage any, any farther down than 11.78 volts. I'm not sure if I fried this buck converter or if um, the resistor just had problems in there, but at one point here, after trying for a bit, I decided to just give up on that and start hooking this up and going for the 5.2 volt or 5.3 volt um, power supply I have. As everyone else was saying, this other one that uh, I had ordered that came in at 5.4 volts was working fine on it. So I decided 5.3 probably was going to be safe. So at this point, I used their documentation to verify that I had positive and negative hooked up correctly. As you can see, pins 1 and 2 are circled in the yellow there, and uh, they are bypassed. Uh, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13 are where the positive are in, and then negatives on the top. At this point, I've uh, actually just powered it up, a uh, little, little off on the two different videos there. Um, and I'll, there's a video at the very end where I'll show the complete boot uh, with a little better picture here. It is a little nerve-wracking when you plug this in and for the first five seconds or so you get absolutely nothing on the screen, especially when you've done this with a power uh, adapter that is a little over their maximum recommended voltage. So at this point it's powering up uh, for the first time, and this really was the first time as I was videotaping it. Um, Again, getting just that dark screen with nothing happening was making me extremely nervous there. Um, not that it's I'd be out all that much at this point in time, but I really hate to have anything like this fry on my first attempt. So at this point, I've powered it up. I was able to log on, and everything seems to be working okay. Uh, just for a quick size comparison on this, uh, the Atomic Pi is the equivalent of about six Pi Zeros, or the equivalent of a of two beagle bone blacks or two raspberry pies. So it is a lot bigger than most other SBCs. 
So here's a um, run from uh, start to finish of it actually being powered on. Uh, there was almost five second delay there again w from the time I initially plugged in the power until you got that first um, splash screen for the BIOS. It takes just over 30 seconds for it to boot up. Um, my first time around it felt like it was a minute and a half, almost two minutes. Again, when you're videotaping these things and you're not entirely sure if you fried your brand new device, you get a little nervous on this. But 30 seconds in, um, you have a login screen. Uh, it's a little washed out here. You can see it better in that previous video. There is a built-in password that will show up on the screen for you. Um, you're logging in as root. Comes up, uh, tells me no Wi-Fi connected, no uh, wired board in, and I'm shutting it off at this point in time with uh, Ubuntu 18.04. Anyways, thanks.